Hi, Yarn Tubers. Welcome back to Wanderlust Crochet with Dana and Dewey. Dewey's the boss. I'm just basically Dana masquerading as Sideshow Bob with all this trucker goodness going on here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what was I going to talk about first? I forgot. Oh, shipping. Okay, so I just got back from home time. I'm in Othello, Washington right now. Um, and already I'm dreading being back to work. I don't, well, I don't want to sit here and complain about my job, but it has, I was led to believe that, um, going on this certain, um, lane um, that I would be going back and forth from Brooks, Oregon to Payette, Idaho and that has that happened once in the last month and um, uh, thankfully this next load is after this one um, is going to be headed back to the Portland area but um, mostly I have been running around like crazy um, yeah to the point where I'm ready to quit <laughs> So, um, anyway, I hope that this gets fixed soon because I'm not liking my job anymore. So, anyway, oh, honey, <laughs> it's kind of hard to be upset with Dooley's nose in my ear. <laughs> hey, you want your cookie because you're such a sweetie pie? Um, okay, so back to good fun stuff um you know things kind of um there was kind of a snowball effect and um things have not gotten done and, and a large um place to point the blame is my the way my job has been going lately I'm just I'm so burnt um there was no way for me to ship anything when I was home. I mentioned that in my live the other day that uh, there's been a little hiccup, a little catastrophe, tiny one. And um, so as soon as I'm home again, which I'm scheduled to be home on the 3rd, which is a Sunday, so I could, you know, the 3rd and the 4th, so that Monday I could... Um, I can get those out but you know if there's a chance that I can be home on a weekday before then then I will start um, just one at a time taking packages to the um, to the post office so you know I've got a giveaway I've got a little box for Madonna I've got June little um, her birthday package I've got Diane and her moose tails black licorice what else? Oh, and an Amway sample bags, which I have, um, I have five ready to go, so the first five on the list, and I'm up to like, I want to say 16 on that list now that want those um, sample bags, and I am happy to send those. Just please be patient, because, um, you know, some of them are going to Canada, so that's going to shorten how many I can get out in like in a month so you know I've got to keep it uh, reasonable <laughs> let's just say that yeah so um, anyway nothing got shipped I, I apologize come on baby get up here he wants a cookie <laughs> he my cookie boy huh yeah um, I am uh, let's talk about you know fun stuff um, crochet um, I went to a crochet get together the other day and um, this is pretty much what I got done while I was there I have you know we talked about if you saw my video before I'm only gonna do three of these sets of basket weave what rather than four because my head is short I got a pin head yeah so and that was nice it was nice to get together with other crocheters um, wonderful ladies. There's some real talent there. I mean, this one gal, I've got to look up. It's like the crazy crochet stitch on Ravelry. I have to look that up because 
she was doing it in like a variegated um, um, thread or like a one um, weight yarn um, with a pretty tiny um, clover soft touch. Uh, she was using a steel hook, steel hook and the clover soft touch. So I'm pretty sure it was like a variegated yarn, uh, thread and she said it was called the crazy crochet stitch on um, Ravelry. Beautiful pattern. Gorgeous. Talented lady. So, you know, I, I still miss my girls in Idaho. You know, we were a little, we were more kind of let our hair down, yeah, a little more gregarious, you know, a little silly for ladies our age, but we had a good time. And while I really enjoyed these ladies, they're a little classier, um, a little, you know, emotionally more mature than the average in our group in Idaho, uh, which was great, and I respected them for that. And, and plus, we weren't meeting in the basement of a church building. We were meeting at a public library. So all of those things kind of come into play. But I really enjoyed meeting every one of them. They were wonderful. I mean, talented um, knitters and crocheters. And so um, I hope to be able to meet them again. Now, what else was I going to talk about? <sighs> I can't remember. I said I chanted it like three times before I hit record. So give me just a second. Okay, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I'm going to get a hold of Dee at Yarn Dragon Creations and take her up on her offer to help me with... Assignment number two, you know, I thought I, I was proof watching it. I thought is, you know, I'm going to watch this all the way through. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to go on to assignment number three. <laughs> no. <laughs> it goes from round two. I complete round two and it goes straight into the explanation, the chart and the pattern and the actual crocheting of round four. <laughs> so, D. <laughs> I'm going to upload that video and hopefully the pieces, hopefully I still have those three pieces or whatever pieces I need for round three still, you know, available to hopefully I didn't delete them. I'm going to upload them into Dropbox. I'm going to send you a link and girl, I'll be sending you some yarny goodness. Um, as a thank you, um, I need your help because um, on top of that, you know, we discussed wiggly crochet. I want to do a wiggly crochet video and I want to do the thermal stitch pot holder from Mama Stitchery or whatever her, um, it's called the best crocheted pot holder. You just do a search for that and you'll find, you know, she's got kind of a it's an older video it's very blurry and people were less than kind to her about the quality of the video i mean i'm sorry i don't care how blurry it is i watched that video over and over again for weeks literally weeks and just kept practicing that stitch and that pattern until i had something usable um well they were all usable at first they were just ugly <laughs> they were ugly because they were crooked. Yeah. <laughs> and so eventually I became very good and um, very confident with that pattern. And I sold a lot of those pot holders. They are so nice. So, um, you know, I kind of, uh, with everything that's going on, I kind of need to do something that doesn't give me a sick feeling in my stomach. Like that dang assignment number two. D, I I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> I need your help. So, um, so right now I'm soothing myself. I'm comforting myself by working on something for me while I'm waiting to get loaded. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a rough, it was rough coming back to work. It was rough coming back to work last time because of this supposed loop that I'm on and I have done anything but be on the loop as it is described. 
So if they can't run me the way it was described to me and what I was so excited about doing, I'm going back to running the 48. So Kansas City, here I come. <laughs> Hopefully, sometime. Of course, I have learned if you say you want to be somewhere, you know, can you run me through Kansas City? Oh, sure. I won't see Kansas City for six months. Um, yeah. I would be working for another company right now, but um, all they offered me were night positions. And I'm sorry. I, You know, 51 years old is not that old, but it's old enough. I can't see at night. I can run, you know, a short distance at a lower speed. Like I'm running last night for several hours in the dark on this windy two lane road through Northeastern Washington, trying to get to Lewiston. I'm running 45 miles an hour, between 35 and 45 through those curves and hills because I couldn't see and I was tired. And um, I don't wanna be, put into that position again and it is happening more and more I can run a f like just a short time into the night and then a short time before daylight but they better expect me to be at least 20 miles an hour under the speed limit because I'm not confident at night I I just it I am not a good night driver I wish I was I wish I could run I wish I could you know get up after being shut down for nine hours so barely seven hours of sleep because you know when we shut down got to take a shower get something to eat feed the dog walk the dog and then you know six seven hours of sleep I'm up I make coffee get some breakfast and hit the road you know I wish I was that kind of truck driver but I'm not and if they want me to run these loads safely they're going to have to let me do it my way yeah I can get up at you know if there's a if there's a 2 a.m. delivery, I can stage myself the day before in the afternoon. I won't get a whole lot of sleep, but I can stage myself so that I'm parked close by and I can get up and I can drive over there at 12.30 or, you know, ish so that I'm there early because as far as I'm concerned, if I'm not early, I'm late. And I, I can do that because then I can, you know, get the trailer into the dock run you know they run us around like rats in a maze do the rat maze thing and get my trailer into a door and then I can go lay down again and then I'm going to be tired in the morning but I can drive back to where I staged before and I can take a nap that morning and then I can run again but anyway I'm going blah 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 sorry about that <laughs> I've had this conversation with my dispatcher in the past and it sounds like we need to have this conversation again because otherwise, you know, I, I so, I want to quit right now, but I, it's not in me to quit a job, you know, first of all, not in a bad way, you know, I want the door open for me to come back if, if my next job doesn't work out, but second of all, I want to have another job pretty much lined up before I quit. And what I'm running into is these companies saying, no, well, how, are you still working for May? Well, then, you know, we can't talk to you. What? <laughs> Hi, <laughs> you expect me to roll that big of, you know, the dice and take that big of a gamble? No, no, <laughs> I, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make sure the door is still open in May. I'm going to be up front with them about, you know, applying with you and, uh, yeah, no, they, they want you to have no ethics and no standards and no safety net. So we'll see. I haven't looked very hard. I only applied at one company a little while back. I was really mad. Um, and their new recruiter doesn't want to offer me except for the jobs that nobody wants because it's she just got moved into this position so she's trying to make a little name for herself I think so no I can't do that I wouldn't be good at that and I want to be good at what I do and I haven't been good at this since they put me on this loop thing I have not been good at it and that doesn't make me feel good. So, um, yeah, 
Something has to change. Come here, you want a cookie? Get up here. Get up, come here. Come here, silly. I'm gonna quit whining about this. I'm gonna crochet. I'm gonna feel good. And I'm gonna get a hold of D. <laughs> I'm gonna find those pieces of that video and just say, here, please help me. I'm begging ya. <laughs> then I can go on to the um, assignment number three, which is gonna be a scarf. And for those of you who wanna know, um, assignment number three is going to be with an eye hook. It's gonna be with Red Heart Super Saver and we're gonna make a scarf. So um, that's, that's what you need to get a hold of for that assignment. And then after that, we're going into Granny Squares. Yay! And, you know, there's 50 million ways to do a Granny Square, but we're going to start with the classic. We're talking the real, the original kind of gra Granny Square. So, I'm going to keep crocheting, and I'm going to be happy. I'm just going to have a good time. I'm going to have a good day. Because I think I'm going to have something to eat at the North Powder Cafe. Because some of these days, I only get pork rinds and Atkins candy bars for breakfast. <laughs> Anyway, I've gone long enough whining, but I wanted to update you guys, and uh, they haven't even started loading me yet. It's probably going to be a while. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. I love you guys. Bye.